Stephen Ross, who is also the chairman of the related companies building the Hudson Yards uh, project in Manhattan. So Steve Ross is the owner of the Miami Dolphins. And I talked to him last night uh, and I asked him, look, what is going on here? What are team owners thinking about the situation? And he said outright to me, quote, Roger is not a liar. So he firmly, firmly believes what Roger Goodell told the press uh, the other day, which is that uh, he did not see this videotape of Ray Rice before, that the NFL did not have access to it. And he said Roger has been a great ambassador and protector of the brand. And he believes what Roger has said. He believes that account. And he said that, look, he hasn't talked to other team owners. You know, we know that uh, Bob Kraft of the New England Patriots uh, has also come out in recent days and, and backed uh, Goodell. Uh, because the fact of the matter is, Goodell has been good, guys, to the team owners. He has increased the franchise of the NFL. They make something like $9.7 billion in revenue. These team franchises are, are worth billions of dollars. He's been good to the team Well, owners. in other words, are they just defending their golden goose? Right. The constituents for uh, Roger Goodell are certainly circling him and, and, and supporting him. I want to bring in Ira Boudway, a uh, writer for Bloomberg Businessweek. You have a story in this week's issue about the Buffalo Jills, the cheerleading squad of the Buffalo bills that's no longer cheering for the team because of wage dispute, basically not getting paid, essentially. This is a bigger problem for the NFL. It's not just uh, their handling of Ray Rice, but it's their whole image problem with women and really as they try to cater to this demographic the as inequity, well. the inequity. Right. No, I mean, the cheerleader pay coming on top, I mean, the Ray Rice thing now is, is a huge story. And they have been trying in recent years to reach women. It's one of the few demographics that haven't entirely saturated in the United States. So they have been doing things like advertising tutorials and Marie Claire. They've been doing uh, targeted TV advertising campaigns. They put pop-up boutiques inside of stadiums and it seems like maybe the best thing they could do is not alienate women by mishandling domestic abuse cases mm -hmm. and failing to pay a cheerleader. Well, Ira, you, uh, you noted uh, in your article, excellent article on Bloomberg.com, that uh, one of the Raiders uh, cheerleaders actually got uh, 1.25 million in back wages. What was the decision that enabled that to happen? So that was the first suit. That was the one that came in January that really caused this cascade of other uh, cheerleader pay suits. And that one was actually 1.25 million for four seasons of work for cheerleaders on the team over the last four seasons. So uh, that was basically, I think, the signal that these, these suits are gonna be winners for the planet. Yeah, this is real. Uh, what you know? What I thought was great about Ira's story, though, is uh, that you know that they get two dollars uh, an hour, and as I said, the league makes almost ten. And they pay for their own way to the Super Bowl, no less, as well.